Google offers an incredible tool called Google Arts Project. It's a tool that's not known that much. So I'm going to give you a brief summary of Google Arts Project. So let's go into Google and type in Google Arts Project. So this is the Google Arts Project. I'm going to give you a brief overview of what it's all about. You can look at collections, artists, works of art, and you can create your own user galleries. I want to concentrate on collections. Let's click on collections. So this will list all the collections that Google Arts Project has in its database. And you can see there's 606 different collections. What I want to do is turn on this item here, Museum View Only. That's going to find all the collections that are attached to a viewable museum as well. Let me explain further. I'm going to go to this particular collection in Texas, United States. So this gives us a description of what the collection's about. It shows us some of the exhibits, and we can see there is a total of nine. We can come to a museum view, which we can look at in a minute. Then it's going to show you some of the pictures. So we can click on this arrow here and go through some of the pictures that are in this museum. But what I want to do is I just want to show you this item here. I want to point out this little bit here where it says Gigapixel. That means that that particular painting has been created with super high definition cameras. So let's take a look at this picture. Over here, we've got the zoom capabilities. So if we just zoom in on a section, and we can move this around, maybe on his hat. So let's do zoom in further. And we can zoom in even further. We can go into extreme detail of this particular picture. You can see here the detail of the paint within the picture. This is something that you wouldn't necessarily be able to do in the museum itself because you wouldn't be able to get this close. So Google Arts Project has got many pictures that are gigapixel pictures where you can zoom in this close. This opens up many questions for art students and any other subject. You can get children to look at the detail of different pictures and maybe be creative in what they're seeing. So let's close that. Now I'd like to show you this museum view. So let's go into this museum view. Now it's taking Pegman from museum view into the museum itself. And now what we can do, we can do a virtual tour of this museum. Now next to each picture, there is this little square. Now if there is a photograph of this particular picture in this museum, there will be a square next to the picture. So now what we can do, we can click on this, it will take us to that picture and we can examine it further. We have an option over here to go into details and see some details of that picture and there are various different links that we can look at here. Now this picture may be something that we want to add to our own gallery. So we can add this item to our own gallery by clicking on this plus button here. Now that's saved it, we can go into our gallery by clicking this item and we can see our item is saved there. And we can add further items here into our gallery. So we can build our own galleries of art. Over here, we can click on My Galleries and that will list the different galleries that we've got. We can rename them if we want to. We also have the option of searching the Google Arts Project for different artists, locations, pieces of art, within this particular database.